So you've probably heard by now about Apple's new privacy update that they're bringing out in iOS 14, which is designed to stop apps like Facebook and Google from tracking what you do online so that they can show you more personalized ads. And there's even been a little bit of a feud between Apple and Facebook when it comes to what is the right thing to do with this privacy update. On the one hand, Apple is saying that their users deserve more privacy. And on the other hand, Facebook is saying that they're actually only doing this so that Apple can make more money. And I'll go through later on in this video how that actually would work. And Facebook have even gone out to publicly buy an advertisement, a full page ad in a newspaper, if anyone still actually reads those, that says that what Apple is doing is wrong and it's going to affect a lot of small business owners. And if you run Facebook ads yourself, you might have even got an email from Facebook telling you about these new privacy updates that Apple are making. So from a user perspective, you might be thinking, oh, this is great. I'm going to get more privacy online. But from a business perspective, if you run Facebook ads or you're thinking of running Facebook ads in the future, you might be wondering, how will these changes affect my Facebook ads? And that's a really good question. And in this video, what I want to do is answer two questions for you. Number one, what exactly are these new Apple privacy updates that are going to go into effect in 2021? And number two, how will this actually affect you and your business if you are running ads or if you are thinking of running Facebook ads? So let's answer the first question. What exactly are these new Apple privacy updates that are going to go into effect in 2021? Well, by default, when you download a new app, Apple is going to get that app to stop tracking your activity unless you specifically specify that you're okay with the app uh, to track your activity uh, on the app and send that data back to whoever it might use, such as Facebook or Google or whoever they're using. In most cases for apps, it tends to be Facebook. And the only way that this won't happen is if the user that uses that app actually says and specifies that they're okay with that app uh, tracking what they're actually doing. But let's be real, most people who download an app, if they're given the option to allow this app to track what you're doing or to have more privacy, most people are going to select the more privacy option. So what this means for Facebook is Facebook won't be able to have as much data when it comes to what apps you're using and what you're doing inside of those apps. And it also means when those apps, especially free apps, uh, have some sort of ads that are linked towards uh, Facebook, that app will no longer be able to show the person that's using the app personalized or targeted ads because Facebook doesn't even know who this person is anymore if Apple's changes can go into effect in the way that they want to. So this brings us to the second question. How will these new Apple privacy updates affect your Facebook ads? Well, it really depends on how you're using Facebook ads in the first place. First of all, this is mainly going to affect Facebook ads that use the audience network. So when you're creating a Facebook ad, you can choose where the placement of your ad appears, whether it's on the Facebook news feed, whether it's in Facebook Messenger, whether it's on Instagram. And one of those options is the Facebook audience network. So what this means is that if you have a free app which generates revenue through ads, Facebook will no longer be able to show targeted ads through your app. Now, from a lead generation perspective, which is what myself and my clients mainly use Facebook for, we know that most of the leads come from the Facebook or the Instagram newsfeed, not the Facebook audience network. The audience network is great to build up more brand awareness and get more people to actually see who you are and what it is that you do. But when it comes to actually getting conversions and getting people to convert into leads so that you can get leads, appointments and clients in your business, most conversions do not happen on the audience network. And you can try and see this yourself. If you go to your Facebook ad account, if you're running ads and if you're running ads on all the different Facebook placements, just have a look and see where most of your conversions come from. And you'll see that most of your conversions are most likely coming from either the Facebook or the Instagram newsfeed or a little bit of both but most conversions do not actually happen on the audience network. That's just a way of really building up more brand awareness and retargeting people so that they are aware of who you are and you're just staying at the top of the person's mind uh, when you're advertising to them. But even with the Facebook audience network off, there's still other effective ways that you can still advertise and retarget people even if your ads don't actually appear on these apps. So that asks another question, who will be affected by no longer having that full power of the Facebook audience network. 
Well, I think that the businesses that will be most affected by this change are going to be the free apps that rely on ads to generate revenue. And even Facebook said this themselves in the, in the things that they posted and that newspaper article that they uh, printed out, they said that this is going to affect a lot of free apps. And this is bad news for app developers or businesses that rely on these free apps to generate any income. So what does this mean? Well, if you have some sort of app business, then obviously that's going to be bad news for you, especially if you rely on ads to, to generate revenue from, from that app. So instead, what's going to most likely happen is that either, either these apps will just die out because they can't generate any revenue, so they'll just stop existing, or they're going to have to change how they generate revenue, which means they're going to have to uh, do more in-app purchases or more subscription-based models, which most likely means if this goes into effect as it's planning to in 2021, there's going to be less free apps that rely on ads and more apps that rely on in-app purchases and also subscriptions to generate their revenue. And this is good news for Apple because Apple generates a cut of revenue from in-app purchases and subscriptions. So that's why Facebook have said themselves that Apple is doing this not just for privacy reasons, but mainly to generate more revenue. Because here's the thing, Apple doesn't generate any revenue from the ads. They only generate revenue from in-app purchases and from subscriptions that people make with their apps. So it is in Apple's best interest to actually do this, not just for privacy reasons, but to generate more revenue for themselves. But like I said, this is mainly just going to affect people that run ads on the audience network or the apps themselves that are relying on the audience network to generate some revenue. So if you rely on Facebook to generate leads, appointments and clients, you should be fine because most of your leads are going to come from the Facebook newsfeed or the Instagram newsfeed. And here's the thing, when it comes to generating leads, at least the way that I teach you and my clients on how to generate leads using Facebook ads, what we do is we focus on broad different interests to target people. And then what we do is we try to create a really good ad that talks about a big problem that someone has. And then if you do that in the right way, you don't really need to be super specific with your target audience because Facebook will show your ad to a wide variety of people in the beginning to see who are the ones that actually react to this ad in the best way. And then once it finds that group of people that does react to that ad in the right way and they actually start converting, you'll be able to start generating more leads and Facebook will just show your ad to those types of people, the ones that are more likely to actually convert. And remember, most of Facebook's data doesn't just come from apps and things like that. Most of their data actually comes from websites that have the Facebook pixel installed. And I go into how this actually works in a lot more detail in the video that I've recorded on YouTube, which talks about how Facebook ads interest targeting really works. And a lot of people don't really realize how much data Facebook has by having its Facebook pixel on thousands and thousands of different websites especially when those websites, a lot of those websites, in fact, most of those websites are ranking at the top of Google for different search terms. So what this means is that Facebook can actually get data on what people are actually searching for, what kind of uh, content they're consuming when they're going to Google or when they're just browsing different websites so that they, they can show more targeted ads to those kinds of people. So that's still going to happen. Nothing's going to change with that. But where the biggest change is going to happen is in apps that are using ads and in ads that are running on the audience network. So if you are relying on the audience network to, to you know, generate some revenue in your business, then yes, this is something that will affect you. And Facebook have said they are working behind the scenes on ways they can get around this uh, and to see what they can do to still show a relevant and targeted ads. So we're just going to wait, have to wait until next year to see what actually happens with that. But again, if your business is just focused on leads, appointments and clients, then you should be fine as long as you have the right strategy when it comes to using Facebook ads and you're doing it in the right way, then you shouldn't be affected by this change. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully that helps you learn a little bit more about what this new Apple privacy update will mean for you if you are running Facebook ads. And if you want to learn more about how Facebook ads interest targeting works, then check out the video I've recorded on YouTube that goes through how that all works in more detail. What I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below this video so you can check that out. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay focused and I'll see you in the next one.